this week's video I'm going to be reviewing the Trans Labrador Highway. I'm going to show you many different sections of the highway, including a section from Bay Como all the way to where the Trans Labrador Highway starts in Labrador City. Anyhow, let's get into the video and let's see what the Trans Labrador Highway is like in 2022. And welcome back to the channel <laughs> here we go today on highway 389 so we're taking this highway from Como Bay all the way up to Labrador City then Goose Bay and then eventually to the ferry that takes us over to Newfoundland I'm not very familiar with this highway so it's gonna be a lot of learning for me I've heard rumors that there's gravel on this highway I've also heard rumors that they finished paving this highway all the way. By the end of this video, we'll see which rumor is true. Okay, we're on kilometer 14. Let's get started. We're about 100 kilometers into the ride now, and the first 100 kilometers has been awesome. The road's in really good shape and lots of twisties and the scenery is just beautiful. Well, we're about 200 kilometers into the ride and the road is still in great condition. One thing that surprises me so far in the first 200 kilometers, but I haven't seen one bike yet. So the first gas station on this road is at kilometer 223 from Como Bay. And the price of gas isn't all that bad. It's only 15 cents a liter higher than Como Bay was. But there's only regular gas and diesel. That's it. No premium. Well, I guess we got gravel for a little while. Didn't expect this. I thought the road was paved. <laughs> like I talked about earlier, who knows what rumor to believe. There we go, we're back to pavement. Woohoo! Okay, we're about 400 kilometers into the ride here. And I still got the bike in the trailer because we heard a rumor it's going back to gravel. Again, I don't know what the rumors are. <laughs> But, and the pavement isn't very yeah. even either. The road has gotten a little bit rougher with all these frost heaps. <laughs> it's pretty well a roller coaster here. Ugh. Well, the rumor was true. We're back to gravel. Yeah, this would have been bad on the road bud. There, we survived stage one. <laughs> so from Como Bay up to the Labrador border, it's roughly 580 kilometers and about 300 of it was gravel. So that clears up the two rumors that I had. <laughs> one that it was all paved and one that was uh, gravel. So we now know what stage one is like. It was both. About the last, 110 kilometers. It was a, a, a little bumpy. <laughs> bumpy. But we survived. Woo! Tomorrow, I'm gonna bring the bike back out and we're gonna see how it works for stage two. We're gonna try to get to Goose Bay on the next leg. Good luck with the bugs tomorrow, Craig. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning and welcome to day two on the Trans Labrador Highway. <laughs> actually, day one was not actually the Trans Labrador Highway. It doesn't start until you get to the Labrador border, but I'm calling it that anyhow. Okay, let's see what day two has to hold for us. And we'll see if there's any gravel. <laughs> there, 
I saw another motorbike. Make that two. Found a place to pull over here. It's called Smallwood Reservoir, but I think it's time for a coffee. So let's make one on the road. the first rest area since Churchill City. So that's about 220 kilometers to get to an area that's got a rest stop. That's one thing about this highway is there's not very many rest stops on it. Welcome to Churchill Falls. Well, we've got about 270 kilometers from Labrador City to Churchill Falls. And it's still about another 290 to get to Goose Bay. So this is a place you need to get fuel at unless you got a tank range of 600 or more. So let's go see if we can find fuel. Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. We're just leaving Churchill Falls this morning to begin day three. So yesterday we didn't travel as far, we did about 300 kilometers roughly, I think it was 292, but the roads were great. So today we're going to try to get to Goose Bay, Labrador. Off we go. There, we're now around the 400 kilometer mark from the western border of Labrador, the border with Quebec, right outside of Labrador City. And the last 100 kilometers from Churchill Falls has been pretty simple. The highway is in excellent condition, but you actually see nothing but forest, rivers and lakes, and every once in a while a remote cottage. The other thing of note is the posted speed limit is 80 kilometers an hour the whole way. Now we haven't been doing that, but I won't say what we've been doing. <laughs> but, a word of note, we did see a police officer on this highway. So it's not unpatrolled, they do watch. Dodge that bullet. That storm's been behind us all the way and it was getting pretty close. We're now around kilometer 500. And the landscape's changed just a little bit. The road is still just fantastic. But as you can tell, the bush has gotten real thick around here and a lot closer to the road. There has been a couple of moose warning signs, be moose aware. But when the bush is this close to the road, they can pop out pretty quick. trip if you don't hit rain <laughs> but for today we're gonna make it to Happy Valley Goose Bay there Happy Valley Goose Bay we've been there we've done it time to get east or go east again <laughs> We're back on the Trans-Labrador Highway, heading east towards Port, Port Hope Simpson. That's the next leg, but it's 406 kilometers to get there. It's a long stretch. Okay, off we go. 
You may be wondering why I'm not riding today. Because I don't have to. For the last 300 kilometers, we've been driving down the Trans Labrador Highway from Goose Bay. We were going to take this uh, cutoff here to go to Cartwright, but we've elected not to do this cutoff because it's gravel road from here to Cartwright. That's about 100 kilometers. The road we would have gone up there, we would have had to come 100 kilometers right back to where we are right now. This section of the road that we just finished was just fabulous. I think we've done about 17,000 kilometers on this trip so far, and that has been the best section of road that we've driven on in Canada. Well, time to get back on the road. Let's go to Port Hope Simpson. We're about 40 kilometers east of Cartwright Cutoff, and to my surprise, we just entered another time zone. But this time, a half hour time zone. They're normally an hour, but we're now on Newfoundland time. So today will be the last day for our travels on the Trans Labrador Highway. Today we're going to make it all the way to Blanc Sablon where we're going to catch the ferry to get across to Newfoundland. The last 1150 kilometers on the Trans Labrador Highway has been awesome, but this has been the roughest section yet. And we've only got about 50 kilometers left to go. This is the most gravel we've seen since we left Quebec. Boy, the washboards are terrible on this stretch. This makes the gravel roads in Quebec look great. There, that's better. So that stretch of highway from Pinware North about two-thirds of the way to Red Bay is all construction gravel. That was roughly about 20 kilometers of gravel there. Beat it! Beat it! Oh look! There's a button! You'll only get that if you watch Oak Island. <laughs> Here's a model of the shipwreck that they found here in 1978.